Escort 1 to Overlord, scanning for hostiles now. Not today, scum. Escort 1 to Overlord, spring the trap. We have you now. with the 38th Fleet's operations has been exemplary, but I am now recalling them for a special assignment. Empress Asina invites you to join a special meeting of the Dark Council aboard Viking Space Dock. We will discuss the details of the operation there. I am told the Council looks forward to hearing your voice among them once more. I do hope they've kept my seat warm for me. Quarrel with Darth Anathel if you like. It is no concern of mine. We await your arrival. Malg is out. The Meridian Complex. A state-of-the-art Republic shipyard. It nears completion on the planet Corellia. My spies report that it can produce ships faster than any of our shipyards and at half the energy cost. That hardly seems possible. Based on the technical readouts Zarian has acquired, I assure you it is entirely possible. Perhaps it is even a conservative estimate. Malgus, Krovos, your plan for destroying this facility? By securing our frontline positions and withdrawing all but the most crucial warships, we have formed an assault armada of unrivaled size and power. Under our command, this mighty fleet will burn the Republic's new shipyard to ash and destroy any hope of victory that might remain among their people. Committing so many ships is dangerous. What if the Republic has their own fleet ready and waiting for you? You will ensure that they do not. We have gathered enough fuel ships to carry our fleet to Corellia without stopping. Our enemies are in no such position. The Republic will scramble reinforcements from all corners of the galaxy. Wherever they stop to resupply, we must disable or destroy them. We have already identified one likely refueling point for the Republic ships. The planet Onderon. Conveniently, I am already engaged in operations to undermine Republic control of that planet. However, my forces are meager, to say the least. But with the aid of the Alliance and its commander, I am confident that I can successfully delay any Republic reinforcements that pass by. Your predecessor wasn't the most... focused ally. I hope you do better. I'm confident that we'll work well together. Excellent. Keep your spies in place, Sharian. We must know everything about the shipyard and its defenses. Anathel, Varon. Be ready to provide any assistance that Malgos or Krovos should request. This operation is the Empire's top priority. Understood. My logistical networks are entirely at their disposal, Empress. Then this meeting is complete. The next time I come to this chamber, I will have my old seat back. Do you understand me, Anathel? You are still not a part of this Empire or this Council. You have no grounds to challenge me. I am pleased you wish to rejoin us, my old friend. Though this is not the same Dark Council that you once knew. We can discuss this matter further once the attack on Corellia is complete. For now, show us the strength that brought you to this Council in the first place.
Commander. Fancy meeting you here. Major Henry, are you joining the mission on Onderon? Nah, I pulled Darth Baron's operation this time. We're headed for some mined out rock called Mekshar, but word is we might catch up groundside on Corellia. Everyone with a strong arm or sharp aim is heading for Corellia. Should be quite a battle. If you're there, the rest of us probably won't even get the chance to lift a finger. Major Anri, I need to speak with the Commander. Alone. Of course, my lord. Please excuse me. Until next time, Commander. As Sith, it is our nature to seek our own advancement. The Dark Council may have changed, but that drive remains. Victory on Corellia benefits us all. It advances us all. Should Lord Savick or any other council member forget their priorities in my absence, the Empress grants you leave to remind them. In the past, Sith did as they pleased. In the past, we lost. Not this time. Lord Savick awaits you. Farewell, Commander. Come in, Lana. Our objective is Onderon. Take everyone we can spare. You'll be briefed on arrival. Understood. We'll depart for Onderon at once. Welcome to Onderon. This is the Royal Hunting Lodge of King Petrith, the current ruler of the planet. Although Onderon is officially a Republic planet, King Petrith is eager to sell his world's resources outside of that allegiance. Which is where the Empire comes in. Precisely. Darth Savick is exploiting the King's greed to turn him into an Imperial asset. But his noble council hasn't followed suit. Petrif may have the throne, but the nobles have control of the capital city and day-to-day -day operations. If they learn of his imperial ties, he could be deposed. And what of the Republic fleet we're meant to destroy? Still gathering in orbit. They're preparing for refueling and resupply operations. Savik lacks the resources to attack the fleet directly. I believe she intends to use her control over Petrif instead. What are your impressions of Darth Savik and King Petrif? Savik is shrewd, capable. She clearly prefers to keep herself out of any direct combat. Petrif is a fool, but controllable. He'll be no challenge. Shall we get started? I was surprised to find you absent upon my return from the Senate, my king. Do you expect to visit the capital soon? I will return when it suits me. We have matters to discuss. When do you think it would suit you to return? You overstep, Senator. It is your job to share my decisions with the Republic, not to question them. Do not bother me again! The nobles' meddling was bad enough without Nebet to stir them up further. This is intolerable! Am I not king? Do I not rule this world? They clearly don't respect your power, dear king. And to send the senator back here... Perhaps the Republic believes you need more supervision. But you need not concern yourself. I have brought a powerful ally to ensure nothing comes of your enemy's plans. Allow me to introduce the Alliance Commander. It's already clear that you stand apart from the greatest and wisest rulers in the galaxy. A truly special king. Ah, yes. Well, you're wise to see it so quickly. Welcome to my world. <sighs> Nebet's provocations have utterly drained me. A hearty meal late in my recovery. Do enjoy your visit. As you can see, the king all but eats from my hand. He is the key to our victory here. Onderon's capital is equipped with powerful defensive cannons that can easily destroy the Republic fleet in orbit. The cannons cannot be operated remotely, but if we spur the king into a civil war against his nobles, the distraction will suffice. We will infiltrate the capital amid the chaos of battle, seize control of the guns, and eradicate the Republic fleet before they even realize they're in danger. Petrif is too stupid to be reliable. I doubt he can make this happen for us. 
As long as we are here to guide him, he will do what's required. Petrif already suspects that his nobles are moving against him. We need to push that paranoia further. Through intermediaries, I have hired a band of mercenaries to infiltrate the hunting lodge and assassinate the king. Fortunately, you will swoop in to defeat these deadly attackers just in time. You will save the king, earn his trust, and push him further from his nobles all at once. I'm not your lackey. Killing a few mercenaries? I have better things to do. It is certainly beneath your talents, but you must see the value in this sort of escalation. Petrif will be pushed over the edge, straight into our hands. If my calculations are accurate, the mercenaries will arrive any moment now. I'll be happy to guide you to them over the comm. Good luck. Guards! Help! Intruders in the palace! Assassins! Not your time yet. my safe room. Eliminate them.
I take it the ruthless assassins have been dealt with. Now that the area has been secured, we can exit the safe room. This is an outrage! They think they can kill me? Me! I am the king of Onderon! Once they realized your strength, Nibet and her Republic conspirators knew they could no longer hope to control you. Killing you was their only option. But I'm the king! Uh, yes. I have deployed my droids to defend the premises. I assure you that you're now quite safe. Good, good, excellent. Well done, yes. My king, what of your cousins? They're still at the ancient proving grounds. And? What do they have to do with any of this? It's possible they're in danger too, good king. If your enemies are attacking you, they could also target your family. But the commander who valiantly saved your life can certainly rescue your cousins as well. Your enemies are clearly ruthless. It may already be too late, but I'll do what I can. Inconceivable! They have royal blood! I can't believe this. My blaster! I need my blaster! Oh, where did I put it? His gullibility exceeds even my greatest estimates. We have given him fear. Now, we must give him anger. Find the King's cousins at the ancient proving ground. Kill them. Then spread evidence that Nibet is to blame. Petrif will demand retribution, and we'll have our diversion. I seem to be doing all the work, Savik. When will you contribute to this mission? My talents are best devoted to controlling the King and preparing my droids for the eventual assault. The Onderon Wilds are treacherous. You should take a guide with knowledge of the terrain. Speed is crucial. The Republic fleet is about to begin refueling, but my plan is unfolding perfectly. Victory will be ours. Ah, Commander. I believe I found a pair of local guides we can trust. Jakaro, C2D4. <laughs> Better than they treated us, clearly. We really need this. Do you know your way around this planet? Have you forgotten my many tales of our service to the late Queen Lena? If only your son had inherited her wits, or grace, or looks. I shall leave you in their capable hands, Commander. Good luck. Ah, hands. We just need to pick up a few questionably legal items to ensure all goes to plan. Luckily, we've made exactly the right friends here. Right, Chikaro? <laughs> the delivery should be waiting for us. These blasters were modified to look just like the nobilities, house insignias and all. Rather ornate, too. Do these ID crests look a little flimsy to you? Well, at least Petrov is the only person they have to fool. Now for the data pads. Our slicer friend promised they'll be full of authentic personal correspondences. You pay for quality, Jakaro, and I had a good feeling about him. I'm an excellent judge of character. To the proving grounds. All we have to do is cross a wilderness full of horrific bloodthirsty beasts. No problem for you, of course. You're nearing the proving grounds. Plant the evidence we procured. Make sure it's easily visible.
bind and sever the local comm up link so no one can call for help. Once you're done dealing with Petra's cousins, return to me. Not one step closer. Identify yourself. I don't talk to corpses. What? I don't understand. Ugh! I'm tired of all this nonsense. Let's go back to the capital. Get down! For Onderon! You will not harm my wards! Is that better? is the king. I know, but I can't kill him yet. 
so your deaths will have to tide me over. You'll regret this! Selig, Petchev's cousins are dead. Such a tragedy. I'll inform the king they were slain hours ago. Well done. Savik, out. Commander, good. The king is attempting to rally support for an invasion of the capital. Your efforts were beyond successful. My plan unfolds precisely as scheduled. The king will rejoin us momentarily. Having realized he lacks the military support to reclaim his palace, he will ramble about traitors, demand the blood of his enemies, and remind us yet again that he is king. Then, with the simplest prodding, he will realize where to acquire the troops he needs. We are wasting valuable time. Petrif is a useless idiot. Let's handle this ourselves. An idiot, yes, but not useless. I beg your patience. This is not my first operation of this kind. Trust me. All will unfold as I've calculated. Traitorous! Cowardly! Ah, I want them all dead! Nabet, the nobles, my worthless bannermen, the Republic, all of them! Dear King, surely your allies rallied to your cause. Some did, and they will receive a King's reward. But far too few. We cannot take the capital with such a small force. I only wish the Empire could provide more aid in these dark times. No one else on this world has the strength to challenge the nobles and their off-world comrades. It seems impossible to believe. Hmm. No. Onderon's strength is not yet lost. There is one group. They've hated the nobles for years. Tried to undermine all relations with off-worlders. I always dismiss them as backward and paranoid, but perhaps they were right all along. Uh, about the Republic, that is. They are known as the Untamed. Their leader is a Beast Lord, a Kuru. He's a keeper of Andoran's old ways, but he will not join us easily. Please, King Petrith. If we cannot supply the troops you so badly need, at least allow us to win this ally for you. A Kuru and his Untamed are proud and stubborn. They have no more love for me than the nobles. I'm not sure how you could secure their allegiance. These untamed can join our fight or die. I'm sure they'll make the right choice. You are a fearsome ally indeed. Your reward shall be great once my throne is reclaimed. I will prepare myself for war. Good fortune to you, friends. All too easy. The Untamed are Onderon's only other major group. Once they're weakened by joining this attack, they will pose no further threat to Imperial operations. There is a proper way to seek an audience with them. An old ritual. They love old rituals. Excellent. And one more thing. I've learned that Akoru's elder brother, Brutan, once trained as a Sith. He died fighting Republic forces on Hoth. The rest of the Untamed aren't aware of Brutan's service. To leave Onderon and serve off-worlders would be abhorrent to them. Perhaps a useful bit of leverage over Akoru. My patience ends after this. We attack the Republic together, or I do it myself. Do we understand each other? We do. I assure you, with the untamed as shock troops, Onderon's defensive cannons will be ours to seize. The Republic fleet will be at our mercy. I must finish preparing my own droids for the assault. It is best if any Imperial identifying components are removed. Good luck. The untamed beacons should be nearby. You'll need to light them to gain an audience with Akuru.
I hope your plan works. The untamed do admire pure aggression. Is that better? Maybe you're on You desecrate our shrines, flaunt our traditions, and then have the gall to come here? I am Akoru, beast lord of Onderon, and I do not tolerate insults. Speak quickly if you want to live. King Petrif is attacking the capital. Your warriors will help him. <laughs> oh, you are a bold one. I'm intrigued. You think insulting our ways will convince me to help a man I hate? The Untamed are the true masters of this world. We know everything that happens here, including Petrif's idiotic squabbles with his nobles. Why help one against the other, when I want you all dead? Because I know your brother's secret. I can tell your followers, or you can do what I say. What? What do you believe you know about my brother? He trained to become a Sith, like me. He died serving off-world masters. Curse you! Must you defile everything in your path? Untamed! Hear me! Rally all warriors! The hour of our revolution is at hand. Bring forth Krasilok! He and all of our beasts shall have a half portion. Let them be fueled for the fight, but still hungry for victory! Ha! Krasilok! <laughs> but his beast's name! It's actually a pretty clever pun, if you speak ancient Onderonian at least. <laughs> I'm honestly impressed. <laughs> Petrif will learn what real strength is. We will show the galaxy the true power of Onderon. I'm telling you, an idiot doesn't come up with a pun like that. Or speak a forgotten language. Insane, perhaps. Xenophobic, bigoted, murderous, all fair. But he's not an idiot. Not the bigger idiot, anyway. Debating relative idiocy, are we? They can't decide who's more foolish. Petrif or a Koru. Really, now? Thunderon! Your conquering king returns! After this day, none will question my power! <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, he said you're sure to win, almighty oh king. I am indeed. Our noble forces await us to war! Between Petrif and Akuru, the capital's security forces should be adequately distracted. While they attack the main gate, my droids will blow open the city wall near a sewer bypass. That will be your entry to the Orbital Defense Cannon's control center. Once you destroy the Republic fleet in orbit, 
Our victory on Corellia will be one step closer. It's about time. I've had enough of this backward planet. Backward, perhaps, but also tantalizing in its possibilities. The local plant and animal life could provide invaluable research data, so capturing a key Republic planet is worthwhile regardless. To that end, once the fleet is dealt with, you should regroup with Petrif and his troops. If you aid them in defeating Senator Nibet and her Republic allies, Petrif can rule unchallenged as the Empire's puppet. Onderon would be ours. We're here for the Republic fleet. That's it. Taking over the planet isn't our job. Do as you will, but I will not turn away from a prize that is all but in our grasp. I will deploy my droids to clear a path. Good luck, Commander. This will be a day long remembered.
surrender. The force guides me. Defensive cannons activated. I'm targeting the Republic ships now. Under our control, this is Captain Person. Hold your fire! I repeat, hold fire! You are attacking friendly vessels! I say again, under our control, you are hitting Allied ships! Cease fire! Cease fire! We're done here. The Republic ships have been wiped out. Outstanding. You have exceeded even my most aggressive calculations. Meanwhile, the Republic's chances at victory on Corellia have decreased at least 43%. Unfortunately, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the King's assault has not been as successful. I believe Petrif and Akoru have breached the palace, but the last of my droids have been destroyed. I have no visibility. Please. Meet them in the throne room. Ensure the greatest possible victory for our empire. Savik out. Ponderon will return to the old ways. The pure ways. Your blood will wash away centuries of desecration. You don't fight for Ponderon. You fight for your own bigoted agenda. You fight. And you lose. His loss is my gain, Nabet. I've beaten you. I've won! Did you really believe you could steal the throne of the great King Petrif? Steal your throne? What in blazes are you talking about? No sense lying now. Your treason is over. I've won. I've confirmed it with my own sensors. Total destruction of all Republic ships in orbit. And without a single Imperial casualty. You have served your Empire well indeed, Savik. Empress Asina will reward your ingenuity and loyalty. Savik has wasted her time seducing an idiot king into serving us. Now he's dead, and we have nothing to show for it. I did all the real work. Is that so? I precisely applied every resource at my disposal to complete the mission at hand. The results speak for themselves. We can discuss these details later. Savik, you will depart for Corellia at once. Yes, Lord Malgus. Another fleet of Republic reinforcements is docking at Megshar, as Darth Valron predicted. That will be your next target. Ensure another victory, and the Republic will have no hope of stopping us. I assume we have our next objective? Set course for Mech Shah. Ah! We know it well. A mined-out asteroid converted into a fueling station. <coughs> we would love to join you. If you think your alliance has room, of course. Please? Please? It's been a pleasure working with you again. Welcome to the Alliance. Wonderful. I have a shuttle prepped and ready, shall we? <laughs> <laughs>